press the wrong button, but that really doesn't matter anymore because it was evident, it became evident all this stuff already on the previous recording. It's not even difficult, it wasn't difficult to see this. Let me just see if I can, if I can get something. Okay, you see this? I suspect that this, this stuff here, this is scratched because somebody was doing the work. There is a possibility that this is scratched. Somebody was using this stuff already. Both of them. Maybe I did even a little bit lousy reviewing today, but um, it won't make any change. It's okay. It's all right. And we're going to use this also as a proof that uh, items were not allowed to be delivered by the postal services to this address to me. Slovenia is a lousy nation. I think that should never exist on the map. Slovenia is a nation that is a mistake on the map of the nations. Serious, serious mistake. The worst mistake humanity have made. And yes, absolutely doing everything possible to get back into the greater Serbian Chetnik state known as Yugoslavia. This probably is going to be even better, uh, more easier to notice this stuff here. Let me see that stuff. Well, of course, it does have, let me see that. Mm -hmm. But this stuff here, it feels like, uh, like, I don't know, like a glue or something like that. It's strange stuff. It feels like a glue, like glue, like, let me see something else here. Like somebody didn't clean his hands, and I bet that if I uh, come closer a little bit, I am pretty sure that I can also video record scratches on these handles here. which are plentiful anyways. There is plenty of marks. There is, uh, the surface uh, appears also is like a rough surface. Or is it, I don't know, maybe because somebody, this is definitely used. This shit is definitely used. This is not new. I just need to justify this stuff here a little bit more yeah well this is going to do it let me see this if i get this under the right angle i am after the scratches anyways Let me see this. This here would qualify as a scratch. 
this qualifies this right there did you see that's this is what qualifies as a scratch let's see what else we can see here The right there that's that qualifies as a scratch too in the middle there is a like a line right there um, that's a fabric hmm. Let me see this. but um, other than that this here this is definitely a scratch I mean it demonstrates the item being new is not new and that's the whole point here. That's the other stuff. These are exactly, exactly identical items to the items from MK Ultra. And you know why that is? Because the police already, they did, they investigated, they prepared everything, all this stuff, it's already documented. They have their own videos, they have their own files. Uh, and they have their own explanation for everything, whichever way they got the items, they planted the same items with deeply investigated versions of their own, uh, which they did preliminary to the crime. This is how this stuff is done. Before the crime takes place, they already investigated, video recorded the stuff, then they, then they plant you the stuff with. That's what this is. Um, it's just like here you can see really better mm -hmm. this one here is also noticeable yeah let's see this here you see you see those scratches that kind of stuff well that is just not the case this is also an old. This is not new. I need you to pay attention to oxidation process, which took place along the way. They are oxidized, meaning these are old files that waited for a very long time. And they oxidized. That's not what the new item looks like. That's where the surface becomes like, you know, like rough, kind of, even. Yeah, this is nice here. These are not the items I ordered from uh, AliExpress. They are not being modified. These are the items from MK Ultra, literally. These are, you know how all these items are? These items go back to year 2013. This. Two thousand fifteen maximum. These items go all the way to 2013. These are these are 10 years, 10 years old items. Alright, so that's it with uh, what appears stolen. Uh, mechanism there should be a mechanism there should be a watch there should be a watch in there uh, a movement which was stolen the first order which I've made and I'm going to take you to the laptop right now you'll be able to see exactly what I ordered no. Oh. Aha, uh -huh. okay, here is the bag. And it's exactly also as I was told it's gonna be. Uh it's gonna be without anything inside. With a brand new bag, like this one. It's exactly according to MK Ultra scenario. But the interior will be empty. There will be nothing inside. So 
like this. Supposedly the police officer got like this. This is how they presented me the packages. They didn't present to me the whole thing as like this, but they presented to me individually packages. That you're not going to think that I'm saying that everything came in the same packages and the same thing and this and that. It did not. Uh, it came separately. Uh, however, I was told you're going to get this and you will get inside if you will order that kind of mechanism, which they put this stuff on special. This guy from this company was very much involved in it uh, and did put this stuff on special. Um, Uh, I could be even mistaken about it in this sense because this here, this item is what the store uh, at AliExpress that was heavily involved in it, it's called Japonia uh, hat, this kind of item, I think. I'm pretty sure that they used to have this kind of item. So first, I'm going to go to the laptop right now and we're going to see what exactly I ordered so that we can match this. Okay, so what you see here is a ZT11 store and there is a mechanism right there uh, which was what makes the whole point here ordered on July the 27th 2023 and this mechanism is missing from the package because it was stolen by the Slovenian police. So we have a we have an open theft. Something I was threatened with by the Slovenian police will take the place if uh, you order, and of course, who the hell would not for the price like this? It's it's a low cost. If you order at the same time the item with what you see right there yes you would have a mechanism from the watch stolen from the package so the watch so the mechanism is stolen from the package it was stolen from the package by the Slovenian police Uh, this was the theory, but I did make a mistake here. I see now. This is what it should be the case like, but it was not. It was not stolen. It was not stolen, no. Here's the thing. This was ordered on July the 27, 2023, as you see it right there. Uh, excuse me, there is a possibility that it was stolen. No, it was not stolen. It's what I was brainwashed the case it's going to be. I was brainwashed the case is going to be. It's going to be July the 27th, 2023. I ordered that this package. Yeah, it is stolen. It's stolen for sure. It's stolen. 100% is stolen. Uh, July the 27th, 2023. If it's, it doesn't matter. It does not matter at all. Um, here there is something else is very important for me to note. This here did not arrive yet. This, this here that you see here awaiting delivery from this store, from the very same store I'm about to demonstrate, it did not arrive. This was ordered on July the 27, 2023. Then I made a second order. And the second order, uh, files were ordered from a different store. It's called the Global Tool Store. And that was ordered on August the 23rd. So we go back to this one. This is the one, yeah? ZT11 store. First order took place on July the 27, 2023. Did not arrive. Uh, the second order which took place took place on August the 1st of 2023 
Uh, this is basically when I ordered a uh, watch hand remover. But from the same guy. And along with this watch hand remover, there was also, as you see right there, uh, one more mechanism that I also ordered. I did not order the mechanism above, you see, but I have no idea how. The seller asked me uh, to also pay for this one. Somehow one got into my, uh, like, it was time to pay for one, so I paid, and it really doesn't matter. What uh, matters here is that it's been paid for three watch mechanisms, of which two, together with a watch hand remover, were all paid in for on August the 1st of 2023. Uh, in other words, there should be two movements inside of the package that are missing from the package. Uh, and it's another issue here I see uh, this mechanism also, which I also ordered from this seller, however, already on July the 27th of 2023, never ever arrived. So there is a potential that, uh, there are three watch mechanisms stolen. However, the police officer, uh, told me, he mentioned to me, this individual mentioned to me, he said to me, I don't know how they will do this for you, but it will be, if you will order this, if you will order this item, basically, right? If you will order this item, and you're going to order a watch mechanism, because this is basically what got me. It was the lowest cost, the lowest price on the, on the AliExpress. Yeah, if you will do this, if you will do this kind of stuff and you're gonna that's gonna be together uh it will be a bag inside that will be empty uh as a matter of fact in his scenario i think it was like this that it was yeah in his scenario in a police officer scenario it was done like this that it was one mechanism that was inside and another mechanism was missing. I think there were actually three envelopes inside of the envelope in which one was uh, what you see right there. The other one was with uh, a watch mechanism and the third one was missing. And as I stated, when I make the order, this order on the August first 2023 there was one of these mechanisms i did not even order but i did went ahead and i paid for it because it's so cheap what in many ways is actually giving a green light to my theory because i was told it's going to be two watches that going to arrive with this item Two watches that are going to arrive with this item and one watch would be inside and the other watch would be missing and the police officer even stated or I don't know how they will do this to you. If you will order this and this, it will be two watches uh, that should arrive. One will be in there. And it will be empty envelope or how they will do that. Okay. So how they will do that, I don't know. This probably will even arrive separately. Uh, the watch mechanisms are probably going to arrive separately as it is three watch mechanisms that are missing. Uh, the thing about it is also note that or may might never even arrive. The thing about it is it's also important for me to note this one was ordered on July the 27th 2023 and never ever arrived so guess what's gonna happen now all the three all of these items 
I am going to declare them as faulty items. I will ask the money from AliExpress for this matter. Knowing that police did this stuff, uh, but this is because a police clearly had something to do with the seller here that you see. This here. This here was coordinated. It was coordinated. The price, the lowest price through this seller. This seller is not a traditional watch seller that would be offering like always the best uh, cost like watch wise on the internet. But it appears to me, based on what I was capable to investigate already prior to the purchase, only has uh, is only open two years. This this explains more than he is. Uh, positive feedback or anything like this so that means that this is a police plot all the way so i am going to require indeed i will including with the files i will require all the money from aliexpress back these are faulty items these are not new items and three watch mechanisms never arrived it very well can happen they never even will arrive very much can happen not happy with this delivery um for the obviously for the watch mechanisms, I am not gonna uh, declare money refund option yet. However, I will inform the watch seller about it. We'll communicate with him and go from there to see what he has to say. If he did send them together, therefore two watch mechanisms together with a watch hand remover, then I will also request for the watch mechanisms to have money refunded back of course these are symbolic amounts of money uh and this symbolic amounts of money ended up in my pocket either way already in the form of exactly what you see right there video proof evidence criminal evidence against police the slovenian police will not give any kind of uh, witnessing or anything like this uh, this isn't about uh, a teamwork it's about a different price I called upon Slovenian authorities police basically to surrender themselves in 2010 when I came from Sweden where I investigated psychiatric hospital uh, where I was kept against my will. It was many other locations. And the entire court, MK Ultra Court of Karlstadt, where they had me. And what Illuminatis alone admitted is true, it's okay, it's a fact, we admit. But they proceeded instead by institutionalizing me, throwing me inside of the psychiatric hospital. So this isn't about teamwork or a solo work uh, this is about different price now you shouldn't have done what you did uh, as for the teamwork there is no such thing as a teamwork here there was a good people that came to rescue and there was evil motherfuckers that sat atop of my casket for the cost of absolutely everything they had with idea to choke me for the truth to never come out to be released that's all there is to it it's just about very deeply disturbed criminal people who did best of their abilities knowing that truth is going to come out in 2010 as it already did in 2010 the truth came out in this case and they proceeded to cause more physical harm through the psychiatric drugs through uh all kinds of chemicals all kinds of stuff dangerous for the health and all sorts of issues with idea to destroy me you don't fucking expect that i'm gonna accept you as 
some kind of a part of the team and see this thing as a kind of teamwork or something like this. There's no teamwork here. There was good people, and most of those people, every one of those people who came to rescue were the people who didn't have money. There was one guy who had, who sold me this laptop that I take that as a assistance. Even that laptop used this, police use this laptop best of their abilities, but still, it's a nice laptop, it's okay. Uh, not as good as the laptop I brought from Poland, which was deliberately destroyed. Uh, I don't know what a tablet would be, which I have purchased from China as new uh, and never came. But nice and generous gentleman who sold me this gave me also some other items. I, I really never wor used those. Uh, but he really did this for like symbolic price and he helped with everything he possibly had to help me out for me to identify him. But as for the wealthy people, wealthy people stink in this case. Wealthy people are the people who sit on top of this casket and they, with their tentacles, reach down to small people so the small people would not, workers and regular people, so they would not, they would choke them basically so the truth would not come out. This is the truth about this. There's no fucking teamwork here and this and that. I don't see myself in any kind of Shaquille O'Neal violent thug that did ever, absolutely everything possible with British royals and others. I don't see myself in this majesties from Hollywood in any way. It was for the small people that things came together that I want to thank to. It was for this waitress from Poland in Zgersh that recognized me. It was few people that recognized me, that identified me. It wasn't for the big people. It was for this big people, as they are big people. I would be dead already a long time ago. Yes, it's a different price. That's what Prince William and Prince Harry talked about, the price. Different price and price and different price. Yet now it's a different price. 